Got another organic reactions flowchart for you to try. So this one's number 14. There it is there. So we're going to have a go at that. Pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so before I go through the sort of detail of the steps, let's just look at the overall conversion. We're changing compound C into compound D. So essentially we're putting an amide group onto here. Now there's a bit of a clue in this step here. So we've got a mixture of tin and hydrochloric acid. The HCl is then neutralized. So this is a reducing agent. So we're going to reduce the nitro group that's going to go on here into an amino group that's going to be on there. And then we're going to convert that to that amide group. So the first thing we've got to do is put the nitro group on the benzene ring. So we do that by reacting it with conch nitric acid and the catalyst is conch sulfuric acid and that's going to generate that nitro compound there like i just said we're going to reduce the nitro group to the amino group so that's the missing compound that goes in there and then all we need to do now is put this acyl group this ch3 c double bond all group onto the um, nh2 group so we've got to lose a hydrogen from from this and we react that well there's a couple of things you could react with i would go for the first option ethanoyl chloride you can see it's got that ch3co group in it obviously the other product will be hcl in that case um, or you could use um, ethanoic anhydride in which case the other the other product would be ethanoic acid anyway that's what i would go for